Hey guys, it's Whitney, your family practice PA here today. And today we are going to be talking about one of my favorite medications, favorite subjects, and it is weight loss. So we are going to be looking at how to lose that weight forever. And part, I'm going to divide this into part one and part two. So this video is going to be part one and it is going to be about semi-glutide. So you might have heard of this medication. You might not have, but all I'm going to break it all down for you today. Answer all the questions, talk about dosages, talk about what the brand names are, what you might know it is better as, what results you can expect, how it can help you with your diabetes, or if you're just overweight and not diabetic, it's an incredible medication. And I can't wait to share more information with you. So let's get into it. So semiglutide is a part of a class of medications called GLP-1 agonist. And that might not mean very much to you. So what it is, is it's like a peptide that the stomach produces and it helps with a lot of different things that we actually started studying to find out for a diabetes medication. So it was first being looked at for a brand name called Ozempic. And Ozempic is a once a week injectable. You give it to yourself. It's super easy. It goes usually in the stomach, a sub Q, tiny needle, like three, four millimeters. Does not hurt at all. Comes with a pen, all that. I'm gonna do a video later on about how easy it is to give. But so they studied Ozempic for a type two diabetes medication. And what they were looking to do is get better glycemic control and look at how they knew that GLP-1, when glucose hits the bloodstream, it makes it produce more insulin. And as I talked about in my diabetes video, if you remember, insulin helps us use glucose more efficiently. It brings it into the cells so that you're using it as fuel because glucose is and the healthy amount is a good thing for your body. It's the number one fuel for our muscles in different parts of our body. But too much of it can lead to unhealthy levels, and that's where diabetes, different things can come into play. So with that, the GLP-1 agonist produces the different levels of insulin. And But in the studies, they found an interesting effect that they were seeing a lot of weight loss in this. And so they started to look into it more and found that it actually helps curb hunger. The main way it does that is it slows gastric emptying so things don't enter, get out of your stomach as quickly. And so we feel full longer. We also feel full faster. So we're eating less calories. We have that fullness. And it ends up when you combine that with some exercise and just different choosing different healthier foods that you have the weight loss. And so they ended up studying it further and seeing that it did not have a high rate of hypoglycemia, which a lot of diabetes medications would cause in non-diabetics, which means they drop their sugar too low and can get dizzy. It actually can be very dangerous. So they did not see that in the studies. So they were able just recently in the last year or two to get it covered as another brand medicine called Wagovi. Now, both of these medications are still semiglutide, same medication. So they have an FDA approval for both type two diabetes that comes with weight loss, and then also just for obesity or overweight as Wagovi. They also developed an oral medication called Rebelsis, and that helps us produce, I mean, it's an oral one, so you don't have to give yourself that shot. So those, ta those tablets come, you take it every single day, and they have different dosages and does the same exact thing. Now, Ozempic and Wagovi have been studied more than Rebelsis, but it's still a great option for patients. So let's get into the dosages of it. Also, first I'm going to talk about the different results. So with Ozempic, when it was studied, it found that you that 50% of people lost at least 15% of their body mass. So their body fat decreased by 15%, which ended up equaling, some studies showed like 35 pound weight loss. So it was really remarkable results. People even had more, and this was studied at different levels of, the, of how much medication you were taking. So on the dosage side of things, I'm going to talk about Wagovi and Ozempic for the first three dosages actually have the same pattern. So you give yourself a shot once a week. You start with 0.25 milligrams to get your body used to it, and you do it once a week for four weeks. Then you go up after that to 0.5 milligrams. And like I said, that pen to give yourself the shot is super easy and I will do a video, I promise, on that. So you go to 0.5 milligrams once a week. 
and then you go up to one milligram once a week for four weeks. So each increment goes every four weeks. So this is where Ozempic and Wagovi start to change slightly. So until May of this year, 2022, Ozempic stopped at one milligram. But then they got their FDA approval for two milligrams, which has been incredible, even for my own patients. So make sure you talk to your doctors about that increase, because I've seen where my patients have plateaued either with weight loss or their diabetes control with their A1C, then it with the two milligrams, they've started to get awesome results. So make sure you talk to them about that. So Ozempic now has a two milligram dose so you do, that you can go up to. But then Wagovi has two more that you can do. So from one milligram, Wagovi, the weight loss one, just for obesity, overweight, is goes up to 1.7 milligrams for four weeks, and then goes all the way up to 2.4 milligrams for as far as you can tolerate it. Now there are some common side effects, and Rebelsis, the oral medication of semiglutide, falls into this as well. But nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, or constipation are the most common side effects. So most people do fine with the 0.25, even the 0.5 milligrams. And there's always some anti-nausea meds or different things you can do, lifestyle modifications. So you always need to talk to your doctor about that. But with this, it you go as far as you can tolerate it. So if you are still getting good results at 0.5 milligrams, I have patients that stay at 0.5 milligrams and they just continue on. Now the best results do come in the higher dosages, especially for my diabetics. I really like for them to get up to at least the one milligram dose, it gives them better glycemic control. But if you, wherever you can tolerate it, we still want quality of life. So you just always make sure you talk to your provider about that. So, um, but it really is such an incredible medication doing really awesome things for my patients. Um, it's been super exciting to see in my practice and then also getting their diabetes under control. So what this also leads to is by having that diabetes better controlled, having those glucose levels better controlled, and then also the weight reduction, we're seeing incredible improvements in cardiovascular disease disease, so heart disease, chronic kidney disease, different vascular diseases, pulmonary diseases, because we're getting that body mass weight down. So it's been incredible. It can really change your life, start giving you more energy, start helping you lose that weight, feel better, joint pain improves, so many different things improve, just gives us so much better quality of life. So make sure you talk to your provider about that. If you have any questions about this medication or different things, please Please comment below. I'm always checking it. Love seeing what this community is becoming. Make sure if you got anything out of this video, hit the like button. For more content, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I am going to do a part two about a new medication that just got approved in the last couple of months. It's even seen better results. It's the first of its kind. So make sure you stay looking out. That's where that subscribe button is going to come into play or when that video drops. So I hope you have a great day. Can't wait to see you guys in the comment section and I will see you on the next video video.